Hello guys, what is up? Xbox is Xbox 360 Gaming here. I must messed up my I must messed up my name. Anywho, uh, today I'm gonna show you how to fix your Xbox 360 problems. Is the AI still my connect up here? Woo! <laughs> Very fancy. Now, these are the problems I'm gonna teach you on how to fix. Dun dun dun. Okay. So, fix number one is the usual, like the PS3 one I did, like the PS3 one I did for, you know, the PS3 over there. Uh, it's the controller not connecting. Uh, what you do for this is that there is a, this is only for, P uh, not PS3, <laughs> Xbox 360 Slim users, uh, Xbox go back cancel stupid command <laughs> anyway this is for xbox 360 uh, users xbox 360 uh, slim users anyway um yeah it's kind of hard saying xbox 360 xbox 360 slim yeah i did it again go back go back cancel cancel Thank you. Target thing. <laughs> anyway. Um, so the first one is, anyway, going to back to the uh, controller connection problem. Um, what you do, there's a little sync button right here. You press the sync button. It should spin around just like that. And then there's a sync button right there, press it, and it should connect just like that. And it should be synced just like that. Uh, if that doesn't work, try plugging in the charger. Try plugging that in. It goes right in there. Like that. They should be connected. Let's unplug this now. There you go. Alright. Go ahead and turn it off. Next is uh, freezing problems. Uh, I think I'm going to turn it off all the way. There you go. Next is freezing problems. Uh, sometimes the freezing problem. Move my connect out of the way for now. Uh, could be from the vent being dusty and having dirt in it. So, what you want to do is blow that out. You want to blow that out, clean it out, and then it, that should be fine. Okay? And then your freezing issue should be solved pretty much. Alright, next is the disc being unreadable. So, when you turn it on, like that. Let me put my connect back up here. And you turn on your controller, and it boots up on the screen, like that. Uh, then, it'll go to here. It'll go to your dashboard, and then you see my game still being red there. Anyway, man, that's still being bright. <laughs> Uh, anyway, and it says on the screen right there, the disc is unreadable. So what you do, you eject your disc. And you make sure there's no cracks, no scratches, anything. You gotta make sure of that. And then, if there's like cracks or scratches in it, or if it, there's dirt on it, try cleaning it out. And if there's a crack in there, then you can't pretty much uh, play it anymore. But if there's a, uh, if there's like scratches in it, just use Brasso and just like scrub it down, and that'll help it a bit. And that'll, and that'll at least help it a bit. So yeah. Next is uh, yeah, that thing doesn't like to turn off fully, does it? Thank you. 
Anyway, next is your connect not turning on. Now, make sure and the plug is the connect in the back of your console. Let me get up here. The connect in the back of your console that's plugged in there. Try um make sure it's plugged in all the way, and make sure that the green light is booting up. So it's like blinking, so that means it's blue. If it's blinking, that means it's booting up. So yeah, make sure it's plugged in all the way, and make sure there's no dust or dirt in the plug, because that could be also why it's doing it too. Next is the all fa the famous red dot of death. Now to fix that. Uh, here's what you do. If it's your, oops, that was my bad. If it's the red dot of death problem, what you want to do, you see, hold on, let me turn this around for you guys. There you go. See that little tab right there? See that square? This little square part right here. You push push that down, then it'll reveal the hard drive. This is the hard drive from my white Xbox I had. So yeah. Then what you want to do, you pull it out, and then you turn on the console over here. And then once it boots up and it's booting up fine, it won't have your data on there or anything. Uh, then you turn it back off, put your hard drive back in there, put your put the case put the casing slash vent back in there like that switch it back over let me flip it back over there you go put your put my connect back on it then switch it back on turn on the controller and then let it boot up and then your red dot of death problem should at least be fixed First, you might want to, if there's dust inside the hard drive slot, you might want to uh, clean that out just a little bit, so that way your red dot of death problem doesn't happen again, because that could also be why it's doing it, so yeah. Next is the HDMI, or no picture showing, okay? What you do to do this, if you have your console turned on, your connects on, turn on to if you even have a connect. I don't know. <laughs> and it shows your con your controller and stuff being connected. It, but there's no picture showing here. Let me give a little example. Turn off my TV. <laughs> and there's no picture showing like this. Like it's all black. Like it's getting signal but it's all black. Then what you do. Turn off your console. Just like that. You turn my TV back on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my TV turns takes a while for it to turn on. I don't know why. There you go. Set there. Wait for it. Wait. Yeah, if it's showing like a black screen like this. Yeah, let me turn it off fully. There you go. But yeah, if it's like showing a black screen like this, or if it's like showing no signal, or like if it's showing no signal like mine. Like when it shows this, when it's like saying no signal being caught, unplug the HDMI, blow it out, blow out the HDMI port 2, plug your HDMI, where did it, where did it go, where did it go, there, you go. there it is, <laughs> plug your HDMI back in there, turn on your console again, turn on your controller, it should boot up just fine it should show picture and everything and it should boot up just fine now then next is the also other famous red blinking dot of death now for this one oh you're gonna be you're gonna like this you're gonna love this it's gonna be fun what you wanna do unplug all your USB ports turn off your console Unplug your connect. Wait until mine turns off. There you go. Unplug your connect. Or if you even have one. Make sure that's 
turned off all the way, and now it's not. There you go. Then unplug the power cord. Unplug your HDMI. Give your connect out of the way if you have one. Take your Xbox. Then you want to take the black casing off. Take it apart. Then take off the heat sink that's in here. Replace the thermal compound that's inside it. Put it back together. Set your console back down like that. Plug it back in. Plug your HDMI back in. Plug your connect back in. Oh, if you take it apart, it will void your warranty. If your yours is under warranty like mine, don't take it apart. It's not worth it. <laughs> then turn it back on. Let's see if I can. There you go. There you go. Turn it right back on. It should start up just like this, just fine. And there you go. It should be all fixed. All right. Uh, the final one is like I did for the PS3, the screen flickering. <laughs> now, what do you want to do? Is if your HDMI is not plugged in all the way, plug it in all the way. And if it's the same thing on your TV, plug it in all the way as well. So that might help too. Or if your HDMI is going bad, just take it out, take it out, take the other HDMI out. If you have like a replacement HDMI, like for your TV cable like this, and you have like a replacement HDMI, just use that. Just plug it into your, plug the new HDMI to your Xbox, and then it should start up and work just fine. And then you'll have a whole new HDMI working. So yeah, you can also do the same thing with the PS3 too. Just like unplug the old HDMI and replace it with the new HDMI. That also works too. So yeah, I gave like a PS3 and Xbox tip. What? Who knows? <laughs> but yeah, uh, this is how they fix. Oh yeah, whoa, 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 whoa! I got one more thing. Uh, it's another one called your Connect not turning on. Make sure. Wait, I think I already did that. Oh yeah, I did. Never mind. Sorry. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Oh wait. If your Kinect is uh, uh, blinking still, and it's like still booting up or something, and it still says starting up back, like right down there, like right down there, make sure that uh, it is, just unplug it, leave it out for a few minutes, plug it back in, then it should start booting up again, and then after that it should go to a solid green, whoops, I'm gonna, oh, yeah it did. Crap. <laughs> it should go to a solid green and then it should work just fine. See? Hello, Gavna. Hello. Yeah. Bring back in there. But yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.